we were at my Aunt Pat's home in Jamestown, Pennsylvania, the farm, and having a ball. Uh, and when we were sleeping one night, um, Mom and I were in a, in a double bed. Bill was on the floor on one side of the bed, and Leslie was on the other side. Um, was awakened by uh, her dogs, Sonny and Cher, barking. Uh, looked out the long pane glass window. It was an uh, old farmhouse. And um, could see the, the barn roof um, maybe 75 yards away. And immediately to the left of that was this bright, bright white light, like a spotlight hanging in the air, only brighter. Um, and, and that's what the dogs were barking at. So I stared at it, stared at it, and, uh, and then very suddenly that bright white light s split into two um, that were across from each other. And, and a beam went between the two lights, and that happened over about a five second, seven second period, and then a uh, flying saucer materialized. Um, probably 25 feet wide, uh, silver, very lightweight. Um, it had a bright white light on the bottom of it that was like an eye that you could see uh, moving and, and sort of spotlighting in the yard. Uh, and then blue, orange, and green lights around the outside of the, the saucer. Um, it, there was no noise, uh, no hum, <clears throat> no noise except the dogs barking. And, um, and this, this flying saucer uh, hovered just to the, to the left of the barn roof, um, maybe 25 feet in the air, uh, and didn't move. Um, for probably a, a minute or more. Um, I was terrified, uh, obviously, and j just couldn't stop staring at this. Um, it started to hover towards the bedroom window, towards the house, and uh, I, I huddled, turned on my side and huddled at, sort of at the hollow of my mother's back and started to try to wake her up. I'm like, mom, mom, mom. Well, she stirred and, and turned over quickly on her back. And I said, do you see that? Do you see that? There's a, there's a flying saucer. Mom, do you see that? And she wouldn't, would not respond. She wouldn't say anything. Um, and as it came closer, uh, uh, she threw the sheets up over my head and through gritted teeth, said, go back to sleep, you're dreaming. Go back to sleep, you're dreaming. Um, we always did what mom said <laughs> we should do. So uh, I stayed under the sheets, um, with my head under the sheets, and, and huddled, curled up next to her, and tried to close my eyes. When I did open my eyes, um, the, the white, white light uh, just bathed the room. Anyway, um, I fell asleep uh, like that, um, and end of story. I woke up the next morning uh, uh, knowing in my heart of hearts that that, that was not a dream, um, but we never talked about it. So, let's see. Um, when I was about 26, 27, Dan, uh, Janet, and Rachel were, were at our home for dinner. Uh, actually, everyone uh, was there. It might have, it might have been Thanksgiving. I, I think it was, actually. So we're all sitting around the table, um, all the sibs and their spouses. Um, and Dan said to Mom at one point during dinner, uh, Oh, Mom, uh, Rachel, who was four or five, uh, he, Rachel said that you you um, took her to see the movies the move that when you took her to see the movie batteries not included that you told her afterwards that you saw a flying saucer once um, the hair went up on the back of my neck and on both forearms mom was sort of at a diagonal around this table of eight or ten of us I 
quick look at her. We immediately made eye contact and she started to cry. Uh, I said, Mom, it's true, it's true, we saw a flying saucer. And um, she, she nodded yes and was very tearful. And um, I said, you know, why didn't you, why didn't you talk about this? Or why didn't you say something about this over the years? And, and through her tears and with a shaky voice, she said, people think you're crazy if you tell them that you saw a flying saucer. Um, mostly because of my mother's personality. Uh, she does not lie, and what she believes to be truth is absolute truth. I, I obviously knew um, it, it, as soon as we made eye contact that, that we had seen a flying saucer. Um, I, we had some questions for her. She said it, it hovered outside the window for um, a couple of minutes, two, three minutes, uh, then disappeared sort of dashed off. Um, she also said there was no sound, no hum, no nothing. Confirmed the colors of the lights that, that I talked about a minute ago. And um, so it left and she said she was obviously terrified, wide awake, and it came back about a half an hour later. <clears throat> it did the same thing, uh, hovered out by the garage, or the, excuse me, the barn roof, and then um, traveled to the bedroom window. Um, she also said that the, the white sort of um, eye light at the bottom center did shine all through uh, the bedroom, up and down, um, both times that it came to the window. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, Mom and I saw a UFO um, when I was a little girl at Aunt Pat's house.